During my work as a Scrum Master, I encountered many situations that highlighted the significance of the sprint retrospective meeting. In one team, in one particular sprint, our team faced challenges in collaboration and encountered repeated roadblocks. So we felt frustrated and lacked clarity on how to address these issues. It became apparent that we need dedicated time and space to reflect on our performance and identify areas for improvement. One such practice, the sprint retrospective meeting, plays a pivotal role in helping teams reflect, learn, and optimize their performance. So in this lecture, we will explore the importance of sprint retrospective meetings in Scrum and how they contribute to the success of the project. So, what is a Sprint Retrospective Meeting? Let's start by understanding what a Sprint Retrospective Meeting entails. In simple terms, it is a dedicated session held at the end of each sprint where the Scrum team comes together to discuss what went well, what didn't go so well, and how they can improve going forward. This meeting allows team to reflect on their process, identify bottlenecks, and find ways to enhance collaboration, productivity, and overall effectiveness. Now, the purpose of a sprint retrospective, the primary purpose of a sprint retrospective is to foster a culture of continuous improvement within the Scrum team. By taking time to review and analyze their performance, the team can identify areas for growth and make the necessary adjustments in subsequent sprints. Okay, so it serves as a platform for open communication where team members can share their observations, insights and suggestions without fear of judgment. So the sprint retrospective helps teams celebrate their achievements, learn from their failures and collectively strive for excellence. Oh, no, no, no.